Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of Jane Speed Shop. So back to the V8 Turbo project. So as you just have seen, the engine is out of the car. Uh, the donor car left, and this is my, this is the project car. Everything should go in this one. So if you're new to the channel, uh, this is my S124 uh, V8 Turbo project. We'll have an M113 V8. 5 liter with a 5 speed automatic transmission and a turbo. So, um, if you're new, you also can click on the, in the right corner, go to my main page, see all the other projects in this playlist, and have a look on jamespeedshop.com. Links over here. You can find all the other information. And put a thumbs up, subscribe if you like the video, it will help me getting higher in the list. So, um, today, to talk about suspension because I didn't talk about it yet but the engine wise it's um, put it out of the car the only thing I should do now is uh, getting the alternator the, the right level because if I put it in the original level it will get too much heat so it will fit but it's very close to the exhaust so I think I will put it halfway I will make a bracket in between here and I also need to support, support the turbo because uh, the whole thing is is now hanging on two sides. But it's I have to put a uh, flexible piece in it. So I will put this one in. It's in the exhaust now, so this is ready. So I need also a flexible piece in here because it will work because it's a very long long piece, and when it will heat. It will get bigger, and there is a possibility that it will break my uh, break something. So I don't want that because also, if you can see, I think it's very small. There are only M6 bolts in the exhaust manifold, so two per side. So yeah, to get the the whole exhaust and turbo setting hanging on the manifold is not that good, I think. So I also need to do, the only thing I need to do then about the bracket is make a support system for the turbo. I want that because I don't want to hang, otherwise this whole set is hanging on one exhaust side on four or eight uh, M6 bolts. I think that's not the best thing, also with some movement and that stuff. So to the suspension of this car. So first to the back. Uh, in the back we have an hydraulic uh, cylinder, you can call it a hydraulic cylinder, it's, it's not really a shock absorber. You pump oil in it and it will raise or lower the level. Less oil, less level, more oil and it is raised. So there is still some kind of uh, flow reducer in here because it will also work like a shock absorber but you can pump more or less oil in the system and that will raise the car. So it's um, if if it if you put it more load in the back, it will drop and it will pump oil in it and make the left make it level again. So there is another spring in this system. Then there's this. This is a hydraulic uh, accumulator. So there's like a, a balloon in it, with uh, it's filled with like 22 bars of pressure. So uh, there's normal. There's always, I think, in this one also, is normally also nit nitrogen in it because uh, filled with 23 bars. Uh, the only, I think, they're all the same. Also, with the only pressures that are different is I think from a W126 with hydraulic suspension on 16. There's also, I think, those ones are 50 bars or something. So if you look to 23 bars, I think the system pressure normally in the system should be around 40 to 50 bars. Because normally you take in between 50 to 70 percent of the working pressure, and then it will work like a spring. Um, then there is a valve in between. This one is connected uh, to the stabilizer bar, and if the car is too high, this arm will move and it will uh, leave oil out of it. If there's too much, uh, if the car is uh, too low, it will pump oil in the system. There is a pump in front of the engine. Uh, on this car, so this is an inline engine, this is the old pumps, they were also on the 103, 123 systems. I thought they were also on the 160 models, 126 models. So after this you get with the 
after W124 on the V8, I thought it was on the steering pump. Uh, like on this car, it's also on the steering pump. This this engine wise is behind the steering pump. There's another pump that's the same as on W140. Uh, I don't have the pump here, it's somewhere in the box. Uh, so I will show you underneath the car how the system works and then I will show you my ID for the front. So, <coughs> underneath the car. So first there are two lines running here on this side, that's the other side and then on the brake side they are going uh, in between here, somewhere there. It's very, it's leaking a little bit. But but they are going to the front, to the pump in the front, and there's a tank. So they're going here, this is the uh, pressure and return. So, they're getting to this valve that I just showed you. There are four connections on it. A, pre uh, a pressure line and a return line, one of these two. And there is two lines, one's going to the left and the other one's going to the right side. So now you can see now the car is it's likely raised. So in this position, I uh, put it off. But if you push it downwards, so then the car is lowered, it will leave oil out of it and the car will go up. So if it's level, like in this position, then you can also put a pin in it. And this is to, that is to adjust uh, the connection on the stabilizer bar, so it's connected on the stabilizer bar. Um, if, it's go, if the car is completely lower, then there's not enough oil in it, so you put a lot of stuff in your trunk and it, it will drop, then this arm will go up and it will leave pressurized oil into the system and it will pump up more oil in the system and it will raise the car. And then when you're doing that, this arm will go in back to its normal position and then you got the arm center driving level that is how it works so if you ha have a look on the shock absorber look where it okay, look this is the top of the shock absorber there's a connection there this is the oil line that goes back to the uh to here there's a bigger oil line it's going to in here i just showed you in the car there is the accumulator this is it's coming coming out of here so this line there's contain continuously going oil into the shock absorber and back. If there is not enough oil in it, or there is too much oil, the oil will flow back to this small line. I think it's just uh, 4.75 mil, just like a brake line. It's going back to here, and it flows back to the return line. Our oil is pumped in the system, and then the car will race. That's how it works. So there's still a spring in here, but that spring is not as strong as on a normal W124. So, that is how it works. It's a pretty simple system, so there's no electronics involved in it. So, most of the time these systems are bulletproof. The, uh, if there's something broken on the system, most of the time you will have... Uh, the car is really hard in the back. And then, this accumulator inside is... There's a leak and all the nitrogen is getting in the oil and move back to the tank and just... yeah going into the atmosphere and then there's only oil in it and then the suspension is, is rock hard so then the leveling is still working but there is no uh, suspension no comfortable drive back in the car so most of the time that's the problem it can also leak a little bit I never had really uh, big troubles with these systems so uh, yeah it works pretty good so what I'm going to do I lowered the car but there is still two and a half centimeters left, so it can go lower in the back. So I will change the springs to uh, a set that is uh, a little bit less pressure on it. I can handle, so for example, there are now 600 kilo springs. I'm just naming a number. I put now 500 kilo springs in it, for example. And then I can lower the car because I want to have something in between uh, the arm, like an actuator that I can lower and raise the car from inside. That's the plan. So, front suspension. So, uh, stock shock absorber came from my donor car. Uh, this is how it should look like because it's pressurized. Uh, this 
some people will maybe never seen this one because this is pretty special shock absorber. It is from Mercedes. It's not made by Mercedes, it's made by Sachs. Same as this, the other one. These shock absorbers are not produced anymore. Um, these were optional on an R129. It's hydraulic suspension all around. So you have something look like this in the back and yet uh, that looks a little bit different and you had these in the front they came standard on the 600 versions on the 500 models they were on all the other models they were optional and they came standard on the uh, 600 had hydraulic suspension front and the back standard so these are a little bit shorter as you can see if I put it out outwards because this is an order so you can see it's a little bit shorter it's not a lot I think it's three centimeters just more, more than an inch so they have a different kind of connection because this is on the side this has no leak line this is a leak line so if it's leaking above the piston and the seal it will leave the oil back the tank there's a connection like this on it there's just an o-ring on it it will go on top and then this is the line, the same that I showed you that's coming from here, that will pump oil in it, or leave oil out of it. So how does the system work? Also with the same kind of bolts, a different part number, but there's also 23 bars in the front. So how did it work on an Iron 29? <coughs> when you were driving, you could uh, select uh, also a lower level and a higher level, and you had a spot setting. So there was some kind of flow reducement valve in it. Then you had just a spot setting. This was already back in the 90s eh, when they cast came on the market. This system is uh, known to be a pain in the ass because this, it's not about the shock absorbers, but it's about the valve system that was behind it. Because it's, it also, what it also did, I thought it was from above 80 kilometers, I thought, or around that number, it will lower the car about uh, one and a half centimeters. And if you came below 80, it will raise it back to its normal level. So it was pretty sophisticated, I think. Um, so I have already in this station where the hydraulic suspension. What I want to do is put these shock absorbers underneath it and have a fully uh, hydraulic suspension in the front and the back. Um, that it's a little bit of a gamble because. Uh, the only cars that were normally delivered with front and rear uh, self-leveling hydraulic suspension were the uh, Evo models, the W201 Evolution model 2.5-16 valves uh, were standard with it, Evo 1 and Evo 2 apart, in the back and in the front, and they had the same options like the RM29, you can raise and lower the level, spot setting, and it, the, the underneath, under, underneath driving lower, I'm not for sure. But they were also different. Those parts are really rare. Um, so these parts you can find sometimes, but these shock absorbers are, yeah, they just rare and expensive. And for a few years back, they still made them, but uh, yeah, they are just uh, rare. So you have to find a pretty decent one to, to do this. But yeah, I just want to try it. I can always change it back. That's not my plan. So what I want to do with the system, in the back, I just told you, it's just raising and lowering the car just by demand. If you put more stuff in it and it goes out of level, it will raise it back. If you get the stuff out of it, it will lower it back again. So that's just how it works. So I can do the same on the front, but I want to go further. I want to have it fully functional with a few settings that I can raise it, but also can lower it or completely drop it to the ground. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, but then you get the same like air ride and you can just like uh, that is a show yeah for show or what uh, what you want to tell it you can just put it to the ground so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that but uh, I would just wanted to have a system that is uh, because you never know what kind of suspension you need to use if you put a different engine in it you don't know the weight it's always searching for the right suspension and circuit other settings I know that because I had it also on the uh, W201 V12 uh, project, it's always, you always need a few sets of springs and adjustments to get uh, it all right. <clears throat> so now this will also be different because I need to have different springs in the front and in the back to do that because I already know 
if I lower the car in the back, it will still stay two and a half centimeters from its lowest point. So it can drop two and a half centimeters, two and a half centimeters more, like it can drop, an drop another inch. So I'm going to use different springs also in the back. That is, yeah, you just have to try a lot of springs. So the front is the same thing. Uh, I still have the original engine in it. The engine is for sale. When it's sold, I think I'm going to put it first back, this engine, because I think it's a little bit heavier. I expect about 30 kilos. That's not a lot, but I think with everything on it, what I take out of it and put this one in, I think it's only 30 kilos more. But yeah, we will see. So, and what I also want to do is put uh, uh, some kind of valve with a solenoid node system in it with a flow reducement. And that I can have like a sport setting, because if you reduce the flow that's going out or into the shock, you will have like the same thing that you created when you have uh, a setting on a shock absorber that you also can adjust. So that is the plan. So uh, that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, first getting that in, get the engine in for the last time to try to fit it. And uh, I have, I'm busy with making some adapters for this so I can just put a normal line on it yeah from there on I think so I also need to make this in the front so it will lower and ha go higher if I'm alone in the car with five people it still have the same level so I think it's a pretty cool setup so some people are driving with air suspension on these cars I think I would try something else so maybe it works maybe not we will see so thanks for watching you got any questions leave some comments below also click on my logo in the right corner see all the other videos of this project subscribe like and share and the link to my website is over here jamespeedshop.com so thanks for watching see you for the next one